Alrighty, so today we're back playing some more Tropico 6 and finally we are on to another mission. We only have three missions to go. It's been quite an adventure, but something kind of cool that I've been thinking about is I do want to, like with all the different missions and stuff that I've been doing, I've been like planning on a new series and so I have a pretty good idea um, for a new series as soon as I'm finished with these and I think it'll be a pretty good one. But either way, we're moving on to Bureaucrazy 2.0. Determining policy and optimizing the sick city. The sick city. By using bleeding edge thinking machines to monitor social media. A keen attempt to perfect democracy. Or just have everybody dance to edict spamming algorithms. In any case, El Presidente had to ensure there was enough to tweet about. So we start out in the modern times era. I kind of think, yeah, the next two are going to be in the modern times. And then the last one is every era. But either way. Mission focus, research and optimization, custom rules, automated edicts. Interesting. Of course, we're going to be playing on the hard difficulty, and let's get into it. It is an age-old question, Presidente. Which is smarter, the person or the abacus? Well, that is an age-old trick question. The abacus cannot think. But what if it could, Presidente? Remember Nuevo Viejo? Such a bold experiment, determining policy by using bleeding-edge thinking machines to monitor social media. But did you perfect democracy? Or did we all just dance to the algorithm? Let's find out as we return to tomorrow's world today. Mm-hmm. Yes, I understand, Presidente. You've got a city to govern, you'd prefer to play golf, and you'd like some high-tech help. <clears throat> You're in luck, except there is no luck, just systematic collisions at a quantum level, which we interpret as events. My team has just designed SAGI, the Super Automatic Governmental Intelligence. She aggregates social media and implements policy with a 0% error rate. 0%, you say? I suggest we start to build her. Deliver electronics to Cyber Operations Center. Interesting. Time is precious, President. Constitution topics. We'll leave it on all citizens, but I'm not sure what this is going to exactly entail. Um, but we'll go for, like, pacifism and hopefully and hope that it's simply the right, right um, first step towards completing this mission for our ecology. Decreases power consumption of industrial buildings, decreases efficiency and their pollution... Let's just go with energy efficient, perhaps. Separation of powers, we'll go with official separation, just in case we need to do some, um, like citizen actions. For personal rights, let's just go with privacy rights for the bonus to liberty, and for healthcare, let's do paid healthcare. Cool. Now, let's go have a look sees and see, wow. This is by far the most that we've gotten out of any mission starting out. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. So we need to deliver electronics, and I'm wondering which childhood museum. Um, yeah, there's a whole lot that I'm wondering about. Oh, golf course. The max wage is only $9 a month, which really sucks. Um, the childhood museum, let's max that out. Construction offices, let's max that out. We start out with two, which is pretty good. Let's go ahead and get more hands. Let's check in on our population. So everyone's got a job, which is nice. Let's bring up the budget once here on all of our Teamsters offices. Fast food joints we can max out. Groceries we can max out. We have a cigar factory, a chocolate factory, a rum distillery, a tannery. And that kind of looks like it in terms of all of our industry buildings. Interesting, interesting. Let's go look at like downtown. Ooh, look at this. We start out with quite a bit here. We have a solar power plant right next to a nuclear power plant. That's an interesting development. We also have a plastics plant. A hospital, that's good. Let's max out the budget there. Change this to ambulant treatment, giving us a service quality of 97. We can get the hospitalization wing, which means that if this is completely full, um, 
like completely staffed. We have a lot of room here, which is quite good. For our high school, let's bump the budget down once. For the shopping mall, let's max it out. The college, let's bring that down once, I guess. Research lab, let's bring that down two, honestly. Cyber operations center, let's bring that down once. The offices, max that out. The library, we can bring that down once. Bus garage, probably don't really need to use those. We have an ancient ruins, which is kind of nice, but this is set for tourist only, but either way, that's fine. And um, the teleferric station, can max that out. A movie theater, let's max that out. Why is the service quality so low? Hmm. Anyways. We stream in facility, we can leave that as is, I think. The plastics plant. So for a electronics factory, we need gold and plastics, right? So I'm not sure if we're actually producing gold. That would be good to know. We do have a nickel mine. Fisherman's Wharf, let's max out the budget on that. Max out the budget on all of our mines. I reckon that the bus garages are set up in a smart way, so we'll sort of leave them. A family resort, we can max out. Hotels, we can max out. Tourist port, we can max out. Economy Hotel, we can max out. Cocktail Bar. An Ethnic Enclave, we can max out. Beach Resort, we can max out. Scenic Overlook, I guess we can max out. Snorkel Bay, probably a good idea to max that out. So we have a bit of um, tourism set up here. We can set that up further, which will be nice. Parking Deck, let's go ahead and max that out. So I think we've gone through and almost done everything. What do we have over here? Uranium Mine. Some oil wells, that's good. Max those out. And now the question is, do we have any gold mines? I kinda don't think so, no. Robot There's... cars! They drive themselves into the back of a truck so that you don't have to. Coming soon to a road near you. There is this spot. Let's just quick build these up. And then let's max out the budget. Hydro Canary. Big pocketed boiler suits increases efficiency by 10 and the wage by 1. Nice, so they get a wage of 11. Did not know that. Power drill would probably be a good idea. How much spare electricity do we have is the question though. We have enough. Let's go ahead and get power drills. Okay, we I think that's good. We heard about this soggy computer, Presidente. Social media algorithms, deep learning, bah. Does it have Pong? I hear it'll surf the information superhighway and works out what people need. If that's true, it should work better if the people are better informed. Like all politics, like all politics. If the people need a united culture identity for the machine to read, the traditional way to get those or to get that is through traditionally based biased newspaper editorials. I can write those. Have two newspapers. Activate work mode, the preserver for every newspaper. Interesting. And we get the blueprint for the stadium for free. Easy peasy. So let's go ahead and set this up. We only need two newspapers. It'll probably be a good idea to influence all these people around here. And then maybe one over here. Go ahead and quick build these just to quickly get that. Although we do have construction offices. Oh, I didn't really look at this area too much. We have an opera house. Let's max that out. A ministry. We could probably go around using that. The cabaret. Let's max out. Cathedral. Customs office. The immigration office. Can we research stuff? Let's research the immigration office. And let's try and get more skilled workers in. Security controls. Why not? All right, I think everything's looking good. We'll have gold, we should have plastics, and then we can start constructing electronics, which would be really nice. Now, what did I do? I did something. Ah, yes. These, we need to research the... Wait, did I do the right thing? No, we did the wrong thing. Let's do newspapers, cool. We got it right away. And then all we gotta do is put this on the preserver. Thanks for the newspaper, Presidente. I promise we'll keep the bias by us and make the ganda proper. Ganda proper, nice. Proper ganda. A political system that accounts for everybody's point of view. 
That's the dream of all humanity, Presidente. So let's give this saggy a go. And if we're not happy, we'll write stern letters to the editor. Just you wait and see. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. So we'll probably end up just waiting for that. I honestly should have waited for it anyways. Clinics, let's max that out. Modern Diagnostics and that upgrade. Let's max. No, we don't need to max this out, but we do probably want to re- Oh, we have the radio station. Interesting. Um, let's change this to Clinking Coin. I think having Capitalist will probably be a good idea. I hope. The edicts are all pre-controlled. We don't do anything for them. And I'm hoping that it's sets it up on its own i guess we'll just have to wait and see but either way let's go ahead and set up our first electronics factory could probably do this in the downtown area i think this is a bit of a downtown building just like that give it a bit of time and we'll be in a good spot i would say cool 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 Yeah, me personally, I really like to make buildings look really good, like... These two buildings, they're like facing the wrong way if you ask me, and the reason that kind of bugs me is because I'd want to build like plazas out in front of these. And then I did see something kind of silly around here somewhere. Yeah, like these mansions are facing like sideways, which sort of just like bugs me. like. You gotta go down an alleyway to get into your mansion. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And then this. Look at this. The cabaret is facing into this parking deck, which I think is a bit ridiculous. But, not here to complain. Here to complete this mission. The goods we got going out, that's all good. Oh yes, but in terms of the new series that I want to start up as soon as I finish this 100% series, there's probably going to be like, so each like um, mission I've been trying to get them done in around a week, um, besides all my other recordings and stuff that I've been doing. And so with this mission, I think there's this mission, so three more weeks worth of missions, hopefully, um, until I've, I'm done with all the missions. And then I think there'll be one more week where I go through and complete all of the other final like things that we have to do. I am a bit concerned about the um, achievement for winning an online match. I played like one online match in the entire time that I've been playing Tropico 6. So yeah, I'm kind of a little concerned exactly how I'll go about setting that all up. Um, fire stations, we can probably leave those. Hydroponic plantations, let's max those out. Power plants, let's go and just max them out now so we don't need to worry about it. With time. Interesting, interesting. We should probably spend some money on setting more tourism up just so that we're not like hemorrhaging money every month. Um, let's go ahead and spend probably the rest of our money on this. Two hotels like that. I want to relocate you to be more like this and then let's set another one up here let's demolish this and then let's throw in some apartments so that the people working around here will be able to afford a house let's do one here and then probably another one here and then we can throw in some 2 by 3 parks keep it real simple do that I want to get rid of this park, but at the same time, I kind of don't want to. Let's change these all to Hotel Camarote. Good, good. And then let's set up something that will generate a lot of money. Let's do a casino. Kind of like the idea of it being here. And then we can do another cocktail bar right next to it. Let's put this on high priority. Tour ship still kind of low for tourism. The we just need time. Is in grave danger, President Hay. Surely the goddess needs us to save her now more than ever. Won't you consider going just a little green? Well, we might end up modernizing a plantation, so we'll go ahead and do that now. I actually didn't set up our plantations properly. Let's do multiculture. Max out the budget on all of those, and then max out the budget on these. Put them on pasture prohibition, and that should be good. 
It'll lower the efficiency up front, but over time it should be good. The sugar plantation in the middle is getting a pretty good bonus. Let's try and get fiber fertilization. It'll increase the efficiency of all of these nearby um, plantations. Ah, my good. friend, the president. We need to do an export trade route with the Middle East. I think it was export at least, right? Oh, no, an import. But either way, once all these tourists are fully set up properly, then... We'll be in a pretty good spot, I would say. Let's max out the budget here. And we just want to make sure that there's no shacks out here. I have had a note from your accountant. Good, good, good. says we're in too deep, but I'm not worried. Not even in the slightest. We don't have a bank, which is kind of interesting. A good leader listens to the people, Presidente. We'll probably end up building a hang gliding building anyways, so that's fine. Make this for tourist only. Are these all set to tourist only? They're not. Interesting. Probably why we weren't making as much money. So with that all turned on, we should make a fair bit. Presidente, America is bored with being a superpower. Presidente, good news. Soggy's ready. We uh, ow, ouch, owie. Sorry, Presidente. A champagne cork just hit me in the face. Let's switch Saggy on. Then we need to calib. We need to calibrate. She learns from social media, so I need a spike in internet activity. Break the internet, Presidente. Do something outrageous so everyone tweets about it. Presidente versus Llama in a prize fight. My money's on the Llama. Trading spaces, benevolent Presidente pledges, mansions for the homeless. Let's do the fight. Oh, we need a stadium. Cool. So we actually got the stadium for free. Good, good. We're just going to need some time here. So let's, let, let's just leave it in times four in the hopes that we start getting a lot more tourists on the island. Let's go ahead and research the casino. I don't want to switch it over to double or nothing yet. We'll give it a bit of time before we do that. I would like to get a lot more tourists here. It looks like there are some tourists leaving, which is a good sign, hopefully. Um, that means that the next one will start bringing over a lot more tourists, which would be good. Yep, three left, so that should give us an actual rating, tourist rating, and that means Security that the next one... Word, <clears throat> that means that the next ship to come through, the next tourist ship, um, should bring over, hopefully enough to fill up all of our hotels. Which currently, as you can see, we're making... We're spending 100 on this, and we're l gaining 48 so we're like losing $50 a month on that one. This one's even worse we're making zero money off of it and all of these we're like losing money on all of them and then this building isn't really doing that well either so with just a little bit of time once we get all of these filled in they'll be generating us money every month actually making money and then all the tourist buildings around will also be generating money we just need time here this comes Good, good. So there's a handful of tourists. So now we can see we're spending 100 and we're making 380. So we're making over 100 or $280 per month off this one hotel. Now we just need more tourists to show up, even more. Let's see how much this one's making us. Eh, kind of like the same. Yeah, we're making 200 off of this one. So um, the hotels are definitely better in terms of generating money from. So we'll try and get those. Make this for tourist only as well. Oh, now we can switch this over to double or nothing. Please good, good. reinforce your armies, Presidente. We have enemies to our right. 
We have so many dual, com dual demands and stuff. And even more. So I should probably fill in all of our hotels. Amazing. So now we should be generating a fair bit of money every single month. Probably do with just a couple more hotels, but I think we're in a good spot now. Um, let's try and set up our stadium next. Maybe up in this like very large open area. I bet the housing problem, yeah, it's not doing too amazing right now. Max out the budget here. Let's get the upgrade concrete pier if we get a chance. Or no, more light. I always forget about this. I always talk about the wrong one. It's okay though. We just want to make sure that there's no what's it called around shacks so that we're decreasing the beauty. It's made us 12,000 in its lifetime. That's good. The cocktail bar. Only two. I can't have a feeling up here this is going to be our best building for tourists. Yeah, 10,000. Good, good, good. Oh, nice. And we're actually producing electronics, so we're making a fair bit of money. Um, we got the stadium unlocked for free, right? So we should be able to build it. Relatively easily. Let's do that. You know what? Let's do it like this. We also have a ministry. Maybe I should set up a ministry to do certain things. Um, a communist... Um, Minister would probably be good for the Department of Education. For the Department of Defense, honestly, I don't think we need too much, but a militarist candidate would probably be good. Just so that if there is like any military conflicts, we at least get infantry squads from our police stations. Department of Economy, I'm not sure if this will work with pacifist state though, but under the Department of Economy, we can do. The capitalist candidate, all of the buildings on the maximum budget have a 7% increase to their efficiencies. That's really good. Let's go ahead and do that. For the foreign affairs, it's probably going to be a good idea to do the industrialist. Increases base export price for consumer goods and luxury goods by, 10, by 5%. That's good. Hire them on in. Department of Interior. Um, increase area of effect of media buildings. That's probably a good one, honestly. Yeah, let's do that one. Just so we're influencing as many people as possible with our media buildings. Cool. Gotta stay hoping that this casino continues to stay fully stocked all the time. Definitely wouldn't mind making a lot of money. Um, we also have a customs office. Let's research that real quick. Let's go to trade. Yes, look at all of that. It's pretty good numbers. Electronics, does anyone want them? Don't think so. Bananas, cigars... Can import logs. Can import plastics and rum. Let's do the rum deal because that's kind of small for an import volume wise. Because <clears throat> if you do a small volume import deal, then you'll get it finished quickly, like the cigars. And getting them finished quickly means that not only do you get the bonus right here on signing the contract, but upon completion, we'll get even more, right? Um, so that's a good way to quickly boost up lots of superpowers opinions of yourself. Stadium coming in. Have a llama ranch. Okay. Let's build a llama ranch right next door. Guess that makes sense. Max out the budget. And now we need to visit the building. So all you gotta do to make a president visit stuff is first off find your palace. 
which is over here. Select our president. I buy myself something nice, like a second palace. A second palace. When I go, tropical goes. Cool. Let's do pass your prohibition. Cool. Veterinary vaccination. Let's pick that up for all of our buildings. Might as well. Be a nice little boost in efficiency for not much else. Nice, we have a metro station here. Do we have more around the island? We do. We have like a couple. That's good. Let's max out their budgets. I didn't see those. More light. and grab that real quick. We have four of them, I guess. But I want to do even more tourism so that we make even more money. Because we are making a fair bit, but it would be nice to be making even more. You did as I Let's grab the 5,000. Even after purchasing in a bunch of cigars and rum, um, we still ended up netting a lot of profit there. That's quite good. The only downside to hiring in a bunch of ministers is we're losing $600 a month off of just paying our ministers. So maybe it would have been a good idea to, um, like for certain things, like we don't need this one, I don't think. The Department of Education, we don't need this one. Economy, we'll leave that one. Foreign Affairs, we'll leave. And we don't need that. These two are the only ones that we truly need, so we'll leave those two up. Fighting a llama is completely outrageous. Sorry that you got your ass kicked, Presidente. Llamas are tough. But the World Wide Web went wild for this woolly war. Me personally, I really, really like alliteration. I think it's really cool. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's pretty good. Tweets are through the roof, and Saggy is packed full of exciting data. Cool. Government by computer, Presidente. It is <clears throat> highly original. Everyone knows that computers never fail, especially not with blue screens or loud screeching beeps. Saggy will automatically issue edicts when it calculates a need, Presidente, which will certainly save time. Your penultimo is an optimist who knows you would never make a bad decision, Presidente, but we really must keep an eye on the decisions this robotic ruler makes, just in case they are particularly interesting. From now on, Saggy will automatically issue edicts on a regular basis. Each time, a corresponding newsfeed message will be posted. So, you know that math is the secret language of the universe, and algebra is the graffiti of react- Cool. Presidente, the sure, we need to modernize, but Tropico has always been a farming nation, Presidente. The people have roots in the land. They want the dirt back under their fingernails. Build up four new plantations, and we get you ranches for free. Interesting. So, easy peasy. I reckon we have the new population for it. Yes, we do. Let's go ahead and do that. That'll be a good use of our manpower that we need to work on spreading out. Let's see what we actually are producing. We have coffee, pineapple, tobacco, sugar. A lot of sugar. Okay, okay. Um, I don't see any food goods. Pineapple. Let's do two corn. To start out with. And then let's do a banana plantation. I know we're going to need one of these probably. And then it would probably be a good idea to do something like rubber. Um, rubber for eventually, I wouldn't mind having vehicle production on the island. I think that'll be good. Cool. Max out their budgets, multiculture. Selective breeding on the corn plantations is a good idea. The rubber plantation we can leave. Banana plantation we can leave. There was a sugar plantation that we should get this upgrade for. Pineapple, coffee. Okay, that's I think that's all good. That's the ticket, Presidente. Real farms for real people. I can't wait to get up at the crack of dawn to water the cows and milk the crops. Nice, water the cows and milk the crops. This science fiction malarkey is all very well in the comic books, but I've yet to see it benefit a real tropican. Oh, excuse me. Presidente, that's my phone. Looks like I'm late for the online debate. So get me a taxi, dumb phone. Cool. Presidente, Two free ranches. 
We at the Institute of Futuristic Stuff want to thank you for making Soggy a reality. Other global leaders rule entirely through social media, so we're making sure that your tweets are more important to Saggy than anyone else. Go on, try it. Choose a tweet, wait for Saggy to process the info. Decide which of the tweets below you would like to publish. Saggy will issue the next edict based on your decision. Nuclear tests get 8 out of 10. Free sunscreen for all. Tropico is the bomb. Military police. President can handle the truth. No more... No more lies except necessary ones. Create unnecessary laws, waste money, prosecute minorities. No, don't illegalize. Let's go with that one. So now we got to do is wait 90 days. Interesting. Um, we got two free ranches. Let's throw them down. I wouldn't mind something like a pig ranch and a goat ranch. Two different food types that'll be beneficial to this in the long run. Max out the budgets, pasture prohibition, mechanic. Let's do veterinary vaccination. Perfect. And then I think for the pig ranch, we can do overfeeding. Good, good. 66,000. That's pretty good. Let's look at trade deals. We can import apparel. Any other good imports? Corn, gold. We can import gold. Let's grab that at a good deal, honestly. Um, let's... Go to reduce import taxes. Let's get tax evasion. And now we're getting gold at 18% off. We'll go ahead and sign that. And then jewelry at 18% off. That's a good deal as well. Cool, cool. Very good. All well and good. So we'll probably end up losing. Yeah, we didn't make the 60,000 we were promised. But in the very least, we have a bunch of very expensive goods that we'll sell. I'm still on the fence about Sagi, Presidente. It bothers me that it doesn't think. But then, this is politics we're talking about. But there's no reason we shouldn't build more prisons. <laughs> they can be pretty darn profitable if we set them up right. And there'll always be criminals, Presidente. Plus, you can make more whenever you want, just by tweaking the rulebook a bit. Build a prison, activate work mode, convict labor for every prison, prisoner income, 3,000 ducats. Cool. Easy peasy. Let's build us a prison. Penitentiary. Let's go ahead and increase the budget on our dock. Um, this will allow us to import goods quicker, so we'll make more money faster with um, import deals if we increase the budget on our dock. And that is very good. Let's max out the budget on our stadium. It's getting a lot more people to have interest in it. Apparel trade route finished. Should build a bit more onto our tourism portions of the island. Just now we're making like way more money. This building's only made us 20,000. Yeah, we could probably do with a couple more hotels. They'll generate money every month on top of having a lot more tourists here to spend their hard-earned money on our island 80,000 so cool 40,000 let's throw down just a couple more hotels don't want to overdo it so that we have too many tourists on the island but I think three will go a long ways let's max out their budgets hotel camarote good good legalized substances has reached level one so we don't have access to any of our oh wow we don't have access to anything Agricultural subsidies got turned on by itself. Assembly ban got turned on by itself. And legalized substances got turned on by itself. Interesting. Decreases liberty by 15. Increases chances of citizens becoming rebels. That is not good. Let's look at the liberty of the island. Oh, it's not too terrible. We do still have control over our constitution in the very least. No tourist on this shipload yet, but hopefully soon we'll be in a good spot. Hey there, Prez! Boy, do I feel good today. 
Let's go and pause this. Let's change this to stimulate exports. Let's get tourist fees. Let's look at trade deals. Logs. Hides. Cigars from Europe. That'll be a good one. So we'll change this back to reduce import taxes. Cigars at 20% off. I think that's less actually, right? Yeah, 13% off. That's fine. Cheese. We'll pick that up. Good, good. Any electronics deals yet? We have jewelry deals. That's good. Because we're importing jewelry from America. We still have 20,000 units to go. So let's stimulate exports. And then these jewelry deals. We can pick up both of the middle ones. And we'll be in a good spot, I would say. Pretty expensive, but I think it'll be very worth it in the end. And then we can switch this back to reduce, or no, special tax. Citizens are demanding. Let's deliver a speech. Um, we have a pretty high support, so I don't think it'll be much of an issue. Housing. Let's praise, I guess, the capitalists. Blame no one. Promise nothing. My tropicans. They call me the... Do any of these offers look good to you? They're all strictly legitimate. Cool. I haven't really checked on our agricultural buildings. We definitely need more teamsters offices. So let's go ahead and throw down a couple. Let's actually just max the budget out on all of those. Experimental ground treatment. Why would you do such a thing, Saggy? Unemployed, we have a lot of homeless families as well. Not amazing. Let's put in some more apartments. And then for the immigration office, let's just put Tropica first. I'd rather not have as many people moving in so quickly all the time. So hopefully here we fill in all of the rest of our hotels. Yes, perfect. Alrighty. So let's continue along with our mission here. I don't think that we're going to run into any issues in the foreseeable future. Activate convict labor. Convict labor. Perfect. Max out the budget. Why not? Prisoner income, 3,000. I don't think we have that many criminals, do we? Kind of. Scars. I wonder what happens if you don't have any prisoners on your island if you'd even be able to complete this little mission there. But yeah, I am really excited to get moving into another series. Um, I guess I can give like a little sneak peek in terms of my ideas. So um, a lot of my islands, I do almost this exact same city block setup here. Um, it would be one shorter, so a four by six four by six inside of um, a city block so we move up five and go over seven and we create a bunch of city blocks like that and so what I want to do is create pretty much the ultimate um, like communist utopia I've done it before but we're gonna do it again but way better so to me um, something that's pretty cool in terms of like trying to create a Marxist society is try and make everyone in the same class right and so initially, the first time, every time that I've done a communist utopia, I would always do the poor class, right? Because that just makes the most sense to me because it's like, okay, well, we don't have like, you know, an infinite amount of money or anything. And it just seems like this is the most achievable, right? But I was giving it some thinking over and I was like, what would it be like if we did this entire thing over again, but everyone was part of the well-off class, right? Um, this would mean that we would have access to, let's see what the lowest budget is. Yeah, we'd have access to offices on the second to lowest budget here. We'd have access to so much more stuff, and I think that it would really be quite interesting. Yeah, even research labs and stadiums, and previously I would have to really try very hard to be able to interact with certain buildings, trying to get, what's it called, um health services to the population was really difficult 
I would have to go with clinics on the lowest budget, and it was always just a pain, right? Um, could we even build... In the past... We wouldn't even have been able to build a cathedral. Let's look at... Yeah, we'll be able to build cathedrals. So there's just so much more that we're going to have access to. Customs offices on the second to lowest budget. Immigration offices on the second to lowest budget. Cabarets. Everyone will be able to afford to go to the cabaret on the highest budget. Everything's just going to be so much better, I think. And so I think it'll be a really fun challenge to create an island where everyone's in the well-off class. On top of that, we can still do really cool things. Um, We'll be able to do stuff like... Um, let's see, there was some ideas that I had. Um, free wheels, so everyone will be a part of the well-off class and they'll all be able to drive. And I want to have tons of skyscrapers and I want to exploit 100% of each of the islands. This island here, you know what, I think this is going to be literally the island that we go with. This one seems like a pretty good one. And I want to take my time with the next like sandbox, sandbox playthrough that I do. Um, I think it'll be a really, really fun challenge and... We'll get to see some really cool stuff. Prisoner income. So let's try and get as many unemployed people as we can onto the island. But yeah, that's sort of my idea. So if you want to set up your own island and try and do something similar before I get around to it, that is what I plan on doing next. In terms of... Um, public transport, your only real option though is going to be metro stations on the highest budget. That's the only thing. And then on top of all of that, we can't build groceries. We also can't build, um, shopping malls. So that's pretty annoying, but we will have access to the edict, food for the people, which will increase food quality. And then on top of that, you can just build like food buildings around to provide food to your population. That's really your only options. But, so hopefully things are going well for our islanders here today. Homeless families, we should build up some housing. Let's go ahead and throw down a couple of apartments, I reckon. Throw these two down here. I probably should have turned on... Oh, I can't turn on urban development anyways. Let's see if that helps out some. 56, we need a little bit more. Let's go down over yonder. Let's build up another apartment complex here. Quick build it, and then let's build up... I actually didn't want to do it there. That's okay. Um, we can just move. I wanted to do a cocktail bar. Just go and quick build that on up. Extend a road down this way. Ooh, we gamed it. Cool. Um, and then we can do, I'm thinking, more tours. And let's do another hotel. Max out the budget here, make it for tourist only. Perfect. Hotel Camarote, max out the budget. Good, good, good. Saggy issued alternative food source. Um, citizens will not die of starvation. The threshold is increased by 10 for citizens dying of low health care. The edict runs for two years, has a cooldown of four years. Okay, I mean, kind of a whatever edict. Really only effective if you're having a lot of people die of starvation, which we do not, so I don't think that's too important. Let's get our casino, 42,000, that's good. Hotels, 12,000. Economy hotel, only 10. Um, yeah, I think we're doing fine. I think we are doing A-OK. -okay. So now we just need prisoner income to come through, but that is going to take a bit of time. I'm sure the good citizens of- I run about freely. Let's go to research and let's research the police stations. I always put the police stations on, always on duty. I just think like minus 10 job quality for more crime safety. I just think it's super worth it. So I always end up doing it. Special tax, good, good. Let's look at our trade deals and stuff. Let's see what's going on in the wider world. Um, we can import weapons, so let's go ahead and reduce import taxes. Weapons deal, we'll take the 22,000, that's a good deal. Or the 22%, 22,000? 28% for 22,500 units, that's pretty good. Meat from America, kind of not worth. Cigars from America, pretty worth though. Let's grab this. Chocolate from Russia, we'll sign it. 
and we're importing weapons from the Middle East, and now we can sell them back to America. And we'll do this middle one, but before we do that, let's stimulate exports. Perfect. There we go. How to make money, 101. No electronic deals yet, but that's fine. And then we want to, of course, come through and do special tax. Perfect. And let's set up a bank. We have so much money that might as well start collecting some dividends on our interest. Interest on our div. It, 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 might as well start collecting interest. That's looking good. Let's move this over one space. Let me just hang back. The election is a landslide, Presidente. The metaphorical kind, not the kind that accidentally reduces the size of the workforce. Yeah, like, I don't know, the past like two days I just can't stop thinking about setting up the perfect communist utopia. We'll also have access to, no, we can't build banks though. We'll never be able to build a bank in that run. Because the lowest wage is still $25 per month. So certain buildings that we won't be able to build, um, on top of that, like, really poor like buildings that only give a really poor wage so like you know the coconut harvesters the fishermen's wharfs we won't be able to build those but there's ways to get around that i found coconuts um the raid buildings someone actually commented this on one of my videos and i've used it ever since if we need coconuts but i don't want to you know give people a wage of less than ten dollars a month we build pirate coves and then we steal all the coconuts that we could possibly need on top of that you could just import them from some like superpower or something but i really like that method let's max out the plastics plant and let's increase the electronics plant i think that'll be a bit better because we should have more than enough oil being produced we only need 990 and so yeah we have we only need one oil well per plastics plant um which we have and so increasing the budget on this to the maximum shouldn't we should never run out of oil here oh we also have a pharmaceutical company let's max out the budget there okay now we need more oil because this is consuming all of our oil with these two buildings but either way let's see what is going on mission wise this is the best day of my life omg presidente hashtag awesome genius saggy works perfectly we need another social media spike president day saggy works best with lots of input so if you'd kindly break the internet again it was pretty amazing last time want an authentic tropic and vacation stay in a police cell no room service newsflash o oxygen is a fire risk deforestation is our home only hope choose chainsaw choose life cool let's do that one produce logs are we producing logs i don't think so so let's go and Set up some logging camps. Easy peasy. Set one up here, one up there. Connect these all via road. And then let's do... Just a couple more. And that's a good spot for one. Here's probably another good spot for one. And then let's set up, I'm thinking, four more is what I want. Cool. And I think this is going to be the end of today's episode. Pretty straightforward mission. Doesn't really feel super special. Um, we're just sort of clambering our way on through the mission of, um, objectives. Pretty easy so far. Um, definitely nothing too, too special. It is pretty annoying, I would say, just not having any access to, like, assembly ban. Are you kidding me? That's crazy. Alternative food source, that's not helping at all. Agricultural subsidies got turned off. <laughs> okay. So it seems like, oh, peanut colony, that's kind of good. I, I was actually going to turn that on, but now we don't need it because we don't need prisoners anymore. Like, it's just kind of ridiculous. It's not really helping or hindering too much. It's just kind of annoying that we don't really have total control over it. I mean, we're still building the island up fine. But yeah, if you're going to complete this mission, my only recommendation is make sure you set up your tourism um, so that you're generating plenty of money. Like, as you can imagine, imagine if we didn't have that 15,000. Imagine if we didn't have that 15,000. Or at least 
11,000, or this 15,000, or this 13,000, or this 54,000, you know, just set this up properly, and that should give you most of the money that you really need, and then also just set up the gold mines and an electronics factory that'll really help out export wise um, i probably should have set up the pharmaceuticals and the plastics plants um, a bit sooner on the maximum budgets because we do have access to three whole oil wells um, we should do fracking post coil tubing rig yes that would have been smart a long time ago but yeah pretty simple straightforward mission i really hope you guys enjoyed Enjoyed. Oops, did not mean for that to happen. What is going on? Yes, I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And if you want to follow along with the rest of the Tropico 100% series or any of the other series that I got going on on the channel, then be sure to subscribe. Peace.